Hey guys, John Grimsmo here, bringing you another video from Grimsmo Knives. Um, as you guys know, those who have been following us for a long time, we've been doing these videos for over 10 years, um, sharing all kinds of stuff, the good, the bad, the highs, the lows. And uh, I certainly never expected uh, to have to do a video about a worldwide pandemic, but I'm, I'm glad, as tough as this is for me to talk about, I'm glad that, that we get to do that. Um, so in this video, we're gonna get serious for a little bit because it's a big deal. Uh, and then we have a really cool project that we're working on. I can't wait to bring you guys downstairs and show you that. And then I'm going to talk about the next few weeks of what Grimsman Knives is going to look like throughout this, this worldwide crisis. Um, so, I mean, guys, this is a very, very serious situation. And some people still aren't taking it very seriously. Now, I'm, I'm no expert. I know probably less than a lot of you guys do. Um, I learn what I need to know. And I know that this is a big deal. Um, entire countries are shutting down and people are being laid off left and right and it's scary times. I'm I'm concerned for all the small businesses out there, friends of mine, you guys, some of you guys watching this who might lose your business, it's scary, it's terrifying. Um, you know, I had that uh, concern with us, for sure. Like, I know now, after freaking out about it for a little while, we're, we're gonna be fine, we're gonna get through this, absolutely, we're gonna come out the other side stronger than ever before, but uh, I worry for a lot of people. And uh, you know, we all have uh, we all have friends, we all have family. Here in the team, I've got my Grimsmo family, you know, at, at work, I've got my family at home, my wife and kids, and I've got customers and fans. I know so many people through this that, that are going to be affected. Somebody's Somebody I know is gonna die, and we've already had two people um, to like staff members that have friends and family and acquaintances that have died from this, it's a big deal. So I, I don't like talking about this stuff. I don't, I, I don't generally live my life like 90% optimism, 10% you know, reality or just freaking out. Um, and I've certainly had that those heavy 10% times in the past week or two. But uh, for the most part, I keep my head up. I look forward, I look at myself and I say, what What can I do right now? What can I do to help? What can I do to feel better, be better? Um, and it's, especially at a time when people are at home and bored and worried and scared, um, that's something you should do. What, what can you do right now? Because you're gonna run out of Netflix shows that are good. Um, be there for your family, take care of people, you know, uh, reach out to people that you haven't talked to in a long time, learn a new skill, read a book, Learn Fusion 360, design that knife or thing or product or invention that you've always been talking about for so many years. Now's the time to do it. You know, don't don't let this opportunity go to waste um, because everything in life is an opportunity. And if we don't if we don't take it, it's gone. Life is an opportunity. So on that note, as I'm starting to tear up here, let's go downstairs. Let's have some fun. We got some cool shop stuff to talk about. So I love you guys. Let's go. Okay, okay, that was that was a lot. That was serious, but I'm glad I'm glad I did it. I got over my fear of been avoiding this video for a long time. But now we can have some fun. Now we can be in the shop. We got the Kern. We got the Mori. It's running right now. Um, okay, this secret project that I've been showing, that I've been teasing you guys about. So about a week and a half ago, we were all standing in our meeting, six feet away from each other. That's when the whole social distancing, you know, became a thing, um, and we were talking about the situation and the virus that's going around. We were educating everybody, trying to get all on the same page. And um, Stephen made what at first was just a little joke. He's like, dude, we should, we should uh, take our Grimsmo logo and put a gas mask on it. And then the conversation, you know, we all chuckled and the conversation moved on. But I was like, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> so then it circled back to that, you know, thing. And I was like, guys, I was like, yo, Fraser, Rock, paper, scissors, who's going to make a logo for us right now? And Fraser won. So, uh, I mean, here it is. Boom. It turned out so cool. So to play on that idea, we just kind of went deeper and deeper. And we had such a fun, like, in such a negative time, our meeting, when things were getting really serious and, like, countries were closing down and stuff, it was really fun and inspiring for us to have that joking around goofball conversation of, Let's change up the logo. Let's embrace the situation. Let's have some fun with it. We're not making fun of it, but we're making, you know, lemonade from lemons kind of thing. Let's, let's, we still love what we do. This is still, you know, we're going to do this forever. Um, so let's have some fun with it. So 
we went down and we figured let's do a limited run. We've never done a limited run before. We've done a couple one-offs. Let's do a limited run of Norseman. Knives we're producing every day, but let's change it up. Let's put the gas mask logo on. Let's put the gas mask logo on the pocket clip. Just like a little, 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 little teaser. Let's put it on the inside of the handles and let's put a new pattern on the outside. And we'll do a limited run. And the two week period is the isolation period where you know if you travel in from the country, stay isolated for 14 days. Um, we typically make about 30 knives every week here. So we're like, let's do two weeks. Let's do, let's do 60 knives of pandemic Norsemen, pandemic series Norsemen. And, uh, Again, I, we're not trying to make fun of anything here, but we're trying to embrace the situation and create like a, a legacy item that you know five, ten years from now, this is going to be this is going to be something we all remember. So to have a series of knives to commemorate that is, I think, is going to be kind of cool. I'm sure it's a little polarizing. Some of you guys might be like, "Oh, you screw you, you're stupid," but we're going to have some fun with it. Um, so let me show you guys. They've been going really good. Blades will be exactly the same, although we might acid etch a lot of them. Um, so for the handle, it's hard to tell right now because it's right off milling, uh, but they're all going to be 3D cross hatched. And then I came up with this cobblestone um, engraving pattern that goes over top of it. So right now when it's all milled, it's not super defined, but once we tumble it, the cobblestone circles or ovals are going to pop. They're going to pop a lot more. And when we do two-tone anodizing, like let's say, you know, we make the whole thing, or the, say the lines are bright blue and then the rest of it's bronze or something, it's gonna pop like crazy. Or they could be blue cobblestone lines and then tumble everything else. There's, there's a lot of options to play with that. So we did that, and then the pocket clip, I don't know how close you can get on that guy, but we put Mr. Gas Mask um, on the pocket clip. Here, let me put it down next to, uh, next to my regular Norseman. Give you a little side by side. Again, not tumbled, not finished, not anodized yet. Part of me feels a little bit bad about this because it's a really crappy situation in the world, but you know what, screw it, let's have some fun. And it, it's, I gotta say here in the shop, it's brought a lot of excitement and levity and like fun back into work. So it's not just doom and gloom all the time. Um, yeah, so that's what we're working on. I wish we were further along in the process to show you guys like a, a finished anodized one. Um, we're just not yet. So we've made, I think once this run is done, we will have made 36 out of the 60. Um, quick update on the situation in Ontario, where we live. Um, as of today's Friday, as of last Monday, uh, all non-essential businesses have been asked to close. Uh, except for this crazy list of 74 businesses, 74 industries. Manufacturing was a very broad category, um, including literally everything manufacturing. It was such a broad thing. So we're like, clearly, we're still allowed to operate because we're manufacturing, even though we're not essential. Um, so for this past week, we've been coming to work. We've got a reduced staff. Um, Eric's been home for two weeks as a safety precaution. Barry's been away because Barry's in his, he's close to 70, 66 or something. Um, he's been away keeping safe. A couple other guys have been in and out, mostly out. So we're a super reduced staff. We're staying far away from each other. We're cleaning everything with bleach and hand sanitizer. And like, we're being as absolutely careful as we can to continue working for this past week. But it's hard. It's hard to work closely with somebody. It's hard to have two people looking at a mill and you realize you're standing right next to each other and you're like, oh, maybe, you know, it's hard to have a meeting in a loud shop with people six, 10 feet away. Um, it's been difficult. So made the tough decision that as of right now, it's six o'clock, as of an hour ago, basically, um, Grimstone Knives is closing for a week, maybe longer. It's a very tough decision, but I'm, I'm, I've come to terms with it. It, I'm happy with it. Um, so as, it's just Fraser and I here now, and as we, uh, as we wrap this up, then we're closed for a week, officially. Um, we're coming back. This is, I just, I want to, I want to be closed when everybody else is closed. Not as a peer pressure thing, but like that's the reason for the lockdown. That's the reason why everybody needs to stay home right now, is to flatten the curve and do all the mumbo jumbo that the news talks about. Um, I don't mean to call it mumbo jumbo. I just, I'm not trying to give advice here. Um, 
But yeah, I think, I think it's a good idea for us to listen to the warnings. And uh, I don't want it to spread here. If anybody gets it or if anybody's contagious already, I don't know, for a lot of reasons. I just think it's the right choice. And I talked about it with, uh, with a lot of us here. And we all agreed that, yeah, it's tough, but it's right. So as tough as that decision was, the safety of our employees is, is enormously huge to us. So it's the right choice. It was the right call. A lot of businesses are forced to shut down, and um, we're kind of in the middle. Kind of forced, kind of get to make our choice. So I, I'm glad we're doing it. Might be a week, might be two weeks, might be three weeks, but guaranteed, we're coming back, and we're going to kill it. We're going to crush it when we come back. So there's a lot of things that I want to make sure we do, as I talked about upstairs before I started crying, was uh, use this downtime. So what am I going to do in this downtime when I sent all my guys home and all my employees? Well, I'm still coming in here, and I'm going to have this whole building to myself. Um, I'm going to spend a lot of time with my family. So basically, family and focus on critical projects that I, come, that, are, that I get to do here. So this big red behemoth right beside me here, um, honestly, it's been very lonely lately. It, it needs my attention. So this week during crisis, I get to, uh, I get to give it some attention, which is good. I have rask knives, rask knives to develop. I have, uh, I don't even think I've shown any of it. Here, follow me. Ta-da, Eroa palette changer. So this is the tombstone that I've been working on for the rask knives. Uh, essentially knife, handle's gonna go here, blade's gonna go here, clips, et cetera, hard blades are gonna go over here. Um, another center palette's gonna go on here. This thing's heavy, steel. Um, I'm gonna make it lighter, but eventually this is gonna get bolted to a pallet like that. And if I can get that all bolted and attached and start at making the clamps and the brackets and the fixtures, that's what I wanna work on this next week. I've been meaning to do it for the past few weeks. Uh, I've just been so busy with, with work and keeping up and the stuff that I have to contribute here at the shop. So I'm actually, as weird as it sounds, I'm looking forward to having an empty shop to myself so I can actually focus on my project, my baby. Um, so that when we come out the other side, we're, we're running, we're rocking hard. So um, I got this guy, we got our Canon M50, not quite the super fancy Sony A7III <laughs> that Fraser's got there. But, uh, but yeah, basically uh, my next week is gonna be like day one in quarantine. Kern. Day two, Kern. <laughs> so I'll probably have some fun with that. Um, it'll be a lot more Knife Making Tuesday style from back in the day, but with a Kern. <laughs> so that'll be cool. Um, yeah, and the funny thing is, so we were like, well, we don't have to shut down, so let's make our 60 pandemic knives while everybody else is shut down. Well, we got 36 into it, and then we're closed right now. So we'll have to finish the other... Uh, the other 14 knives or 24 knives um, after, after we come back, after we get going. And that's fine. Um, Eric and Yo still have to like tumble and anodize and finish and sharpen and all of them anyway. So the flow will work out quite nicely. Using Fraser's fancy, what's this thing even called? I don't know. Oh, Lynch pry bar? Lynch pry bar? Yeah, I think so. I've certainly seen pictures of it on Instagram. Uh, I just noticed this guy was loose, so. It works. So to wrap up, stay safe, be safe, be smart, learn something, have some fun, take care of everybody. Um, and as far as here it goes, pandemic Norsemen are coming, current stuff is coming, content, rasks are coming, finally after like three years of silence of not making rasks. Uh, Saga pens are in full production right now. We should be dropping more on the website. Well, we're closed for a week, so maybe not next week, but uh, the week afterwards. And uh, we got so much happening right now. I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm actually kind of jealous of all the people that get to stay home or that are forced to stay home uh, and do nothing. But so I'm going to stay home and do a little bit of nothing, but a little bit of a lot of stuff, too. And uh, yeah, for the most part, things are awesome. We're making the best of everything we have. We're enjoying life, and uh, I hope you guys are too. So take care. See you in the next video.